Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at cleaning up the sequence presets and we'll find out what the heck these things are. All right, let's go have a look at the very large nasty list of sequence presets. And it's either in the new item icon down in the bottom, sequence, or in the file menu, new, sequence. And for a lot of users, this is the default that is chosen. DV, oh yeah, yoy, that's what these crappy things are. They're 480p. They're interlaced. They're not even square pixels. They're 0.9. They're nasty. But that's the default setting. And some people can accidentally click on that and make a freaking sequence on an old format that isn't even useful anymore. So let's remove at least that. But you know what? We can remove more if we want, like DV PAL, maybe DVC Pro, unless you come from um, the broadcast world, HDV. And let's get rid of some of these old formats so they don't appear in this list. Now, just to be safe, I'm going to quit Premiere Pro. I don't think you have to, but it's safe just to get rid of Premiere Pro and uh, and remove these. So they're in here. So it's in your program files, the application folder on the Mac, Adobe, the most recent version, for me it's 2020, settings, sequence, presets right here. Now don't delete these, just back them up in case you need them for whatever reason. So I'm gonna move them to another folder. So I'm gonna choose the HDV all the way up to uh, DV, DVC Pro HD, which I'm not in broadcast. You know what, I don't use this Canon format. Uh, and I think that's it for me, yeah. So I'm gonna move those um, over to here. To another folder completely and they're they're still there in case I need them but now they're missing from this list so let's launch Premiere Pro again make a new sequence and we'll show you that those are not there now while this is loading I'll tell you the next step is I'll show you where custom presets are saved because they're not in the same location All right, there we go. Sequence. Okay, let's try that again. I actually found that Premiere Pro needed to launch this new sequence dialog box twice to kind of kick it into gear, but here we go. Because that previous one was missing, now the ARRI is uh, the one that's uh, set. So I can, uh, of course, choose that or jump down to one of my favorites, which is just the simple DSLR settings. But you notice that these old settings are completely gone and much easier to manage. Now, you can make your own sequence presets. And this is really useful if you've got a, a set number of tracks and things and you always want to use that every time. And to do that, go to the settings. You can start by clicking on one of these. So you can choose one to start. And then those settings are brought over here. So maybe I don't want DSLR, I want custom. And I'll leave the rest of these down here. Now here's the sequence name, which is only effective in this project. That only means something in the project, but this is where you can save a preset. So I'll choose this and call this um, Colin Custom Sequence. And I can put a description down there, click OK. And now we've got a new custom, once this finishes redrawing, there we go. So there's a new custom setting right here with all the settings and my description would show up, click OK. And now I've got my new custom setting. Well, what if I wanted to share that somewhere else? Well, you can move it. It's a sequence setting that's in your documents folder. So now we need to go to our user. to our documents folder. 
and I go to Adobe, Premiere Pro, the version that you're using, and then profile with your name and settings, custom, and there it is. Now, what's important is that custom folder right there only gets created after you make your own custom preset. If you look in your project or in your documents folder right now, you'll see nothing. Custom won't be there. So it's an SQPR, an SQ preset file that you could easily move somewhere else. Now, this can be in the other folder, in the system folder. If you do make these over there, they'll show up. But I just think it's safe to leave the application presets the application presets, and then your custom presets in your document folder. It's always a good idea to let Premiere Pro live with the, the default locations of everything. I've backed everything up over here, so just in case I do need to drag those back, I could drag them back. But now, whenever I make a new sequence, I've got my custom sequence, I've got all those nasty DV file things in the old files, and I would never, I mean, even if I was converting these, uh, I would convert them to uh, to progressive and uh, square pixels and not ever have to deal with those rancid formats anymore. All right. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this useful, then take a moment and subscribe. We really do appreciate it. If you want to support us some more, you can do that on VideoRevealed.com. We have a shop there where you can donate once or monthly, any amount you want. And there's a whole bunch of free stuff for you to download. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to clean things up and get rid of some old ass formats that we don't need anymore.